Hey, hello. Today I have a couple of PowerShell commands that I want to show you. Sometimes your Windows 10 or 11 system isn't running smoothly or has issues, and these commands may help you fix it. So let's check it out. I'm in my Windows virtual machine, and first thing I want to do is press Windows key, start up PowerShell. Let's drag this a bit, make it a bit bigger. And the first command I'm going to show you is what this command basically does. It checks your file system for logical errors and, and fixes them. That's what the F stands for, the F flag. When to use it? Well, you want to use this when Windows is slow, it's crashing or behaving erratically. Because I'm using the C drive right now, it wants to reboot and start checking. I'm not going to do that because I'm recording a video. So no. Clear screen. The next one is ipconfig flush, flush DNS. And what this does, it clears your DNS resolver cache. You want to use this when you're having DNS resolution issues like websites not loading, network delays, or redirect problems. So how fast is this? Well, it's done. The next one is a disk command. And that's this one. Online. Clean up image, check health. And what it does, it does a quick check of whether your image is uh, flagged as corrupt or healthy. And does not perform a deep scan or repair. You want to use this as a quick check before doing a deeper analysis. So that helps you avoid unnecessary repairs uh, if no issues are found. And it's quite fast, as you can see. The next command is a dism command as well. If you use your up arrow key, you can use your previous command backspace and you can do this one. So this saves on uh, typing and you can use this command. And what this does is basically it performs a deep scan to detect whether your Windows image is corrupt, but it does not actually repair it. If you want to use it when you suspect your Windows image is corrupt like features not working, updates failing, and you need to confirm this before you are going into the repair mode. How long does it take? Well, that depends a lot on your system performance and how fast your system is. So the scan is finished. It says, well, no component store corruption detected, but if it does detect a corruption, you want to do the arrow key up and type this one. Restore health. This takes a bit longer. And what it does, it repairs your Windows image corruption using files from the Windows update or your local source if you have that configured. You want to use this after you run your scan health command and it came up with some problems. It's basically essential for restoring system integrity. Now, how fast is it? Well, that depends a lot on the performance of your system, your network update, etc. So the restore operation is completed successfully and it's finished. So for the last command, you want to run this one. SFC scan now. What it does, it scans and repairs corrupted or missing Windows system files using the Windows, the Windows component store. When to use it, when system behavior is unstable or features crash. Especially useful after DISM repairs the image store. And that's done. I hope this video was helpful. And if you found it helpful, please consider subscribing for future videos. And like the video if you like the video. So, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.